Shalomar. <coughs> we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Yahweh Shai, Rakat the Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rakat the Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, and elders of GMS. Okay, in salutation, peace, and much blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro and Indian descent. Israelite foreigners, who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and scattered amongst the heathen nations, but are Israelites. Okay, and you women, you walk with us, humbling yourself as well. Just taking heed to these warnings and these prophecies that are coming to pass. Um, okay, so what I have here is. Something that come up. It says how soon until wallets and cash are a thing of the past. And you can see this this talk is 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 growing amongst uh, the, even the majority of the people that don't know the truth, don't don't have the truth, those that the truth is not for. This 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 word, this prophecy is coming out. And it's spreading more and more and more. You see? And that's what we've been prophesying this whole time. That this devil is about to do something major that's going to that's gonna affect the world, man. In a way that you, in all reality you won't like, you know? What's coming down that when people are going to be starving and, and literally suffering... To the point of death, they're going to receive this thing, and they think there's going to be peace and safety when it's ultimately just the end. It's their end, pretty much. <laughs> you know, and this is coming down. You know, again, whether you like it or not, this is coming to pass, and this is not no damn embargo. This is not. Christianity. This is a real thing that's Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai commanded us to prophesy about. It's one of the major prophecies that's coming to pass before we get the hell up out of here. So it says roughly 30% of Americans don't carry any type of cash at all. And 76% of shoppers that do carry cash keep less than $50 in their wallets. With nearly half having less than $20 and why should they? I don't know what truth in that is, but you know, most of the people I know do carry cash, you know, but most people I know carry both. Like I myself, I carry both debit cards. I carry credit card, you know, and I carry cash. I carry all three only for the sake of, you never know what emergency is coming down the pipe. You know what? And 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 let me add this. I carry all three. I also carry, and I've been carrying it for a long time now. Um, silver. I'll carry a ounce of silver. Like right now, I've been carrying a couple of ounces, and it's in my wallet, secured in my wallet. You know, but I got into that habit of I I carry. So correcting my third the three I carry. Four forms of uh, what you want to call uh, money, which that time is coming where they're going to, those debit cards and those credit cards, they're going to, a lot of those are going to be slashed. And actually, a lot of it's just going to be pretty much uh, voided out, you know. But till then, I'm going to carry all four of them, <laughs> you know. Like I said, you never know what emergency is, is going to arise. So, I find myself uh, preparing for any, whatever is to come, you know, and the silver is going to come um, and pretty much handy because what's coming is even though there may be making the cast useless, the, the, a bartering of that bartering system will still be in play. No matter what comes down the pipe, the MOTB or whatever, because the MOTB is coming. Rather, the, when the MOTB, regardless when it comes, it makes all cash worthless. Bartering will always be in play here. You know? 
They may be eliminating cash, but gold and silver would never, no matter what the devil says, or if he makes it illegal or not, you know, you have these Edomites, and you have mainly these Edomites, and you have a lot of Jakes as well, that are investing in these precious metals. And I mean, there are some, you watch these videos on YouTube, they have, they have um, precious metal uh, stackers that's been stacking um, literally thousands and thousands, and there are some with millions of dollars in precious metals, gold and silver. You think they're going to just lay down and, 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 and sit back and allow to become worthless? <laughs> you know, just like they claim they're going to fight for their guns. With, these devils ain't going to fight for their guns, man. Ain't, you know, there might be a few out there that's going to fight for their guns, but they're not going to just lay down and let that happen, you know? So, like I said, I find myself preparing for whatever scenario arises, but, you know, you're not preparing, period. You can't prepare for what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I got is to come, you know. The only way to be prepared is really is to have heavy faith, you know, and, and, and faith that the Lord is going to, you know, look over you in these times, you know. So let me continue reading this. Thanks to credit cards and debit cards, there is no need to carry paper money. You can buy goods and services with a simple swipe, dip, or a tap of your card. This is why card-based transactions continue to soar while cash money is on the decline. However, you still need a wallet to carry cards, right? Not really. The rise of mobile payments will liberate American shoppers from bill folds and money clips, although near-field communications technology have a rocky start. The arrival of Apple Pay revolutionized the world of retail shopping. When you add in a growth popular of, of e-commerce, cryptocurrencies, wearable fintech, and even peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, it is safe to assume that cash and physical wallets will eventually become obsolete. Okay, you, when will cash and wallets go extinct permanently? Okay, do I want to read any of this? Although paper-based currencies are becoming less popular, they will likely stick around for the foreseeable future. Dollars and cents may become a harder to use, but as with many obsolete technology, there are enough uses to ensure demand doesn't disappear completely. Despite the growing popularity of mobile payment solutions, cash may be the payment option for choice for. Okay, Wallace will also likely stick around for a while. Even when they don't carry any paper money, that's because wallets are offer a convenient way to store driver's license, loyalty cards, and family photos. Still think the days of cash are numbered. Even if every person adopt mobile payments and fraudulent activity, 62 Dix says cash will still be here to stay. Not convinced, keep in mind the following. And this is an example they're using. And this is a perfect dip, and these people don't understand what's coming. Because they're using this, VHS technologies have been replaced many times over DVD streaming, yet 70% of Americans' homes still have VCRs, and I still have one. Mine is put up because I recorded a whole lot of things, documentaries and um, uh, certain events um, um, and a lot of speeches and, on VCR that it's good I can go back and uh, and, and, and play, you know, especially when what's coming, um, cable TV and the internet, man, they plan on shutting a lot of this shit down, you know, but yeah, you know, I, I still have a VCR, definitely have a DVD player, you know, but that's their, that's their, that's what they think that because they still have those things that cash will always be in play. Again, these people don't understand the days that are coming. And nostalgia is bringing people back to older technology, including record players, uh, video game systems, and VH, VHS tapes. Record players, you know, that ain't nothing, nothing sounds better than that. Um, that record, man. Nothing sounds better than a record, especially if you have a, a record player hooked up to a, a, a decent stereo system. Nothing can outplay that record player, man. That um, that vinyl. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
digital and straight, but nothing sounds better than that, than that vinyl, man. People still send telegrams, even with the advent of postal services, email, and text messaging. The scripture says, no man might buy or sell, so if he had the mark. Now, a thing is, well, the thing is with these people that ain't in the truth and don't accept the truth and who the truth is not for, like the, these the heathens, man, these Edomites, you know, there there are things that are um, that may have some value. Uh, so, you know, and keep it, you know, because in their minds, they're going to be um, stockpiling a whole lot of these things, thinking in the future that in the near future, that things will go back to normal or, or they're going to be used to build society. You know, this is going to be pretty interesting on how we're going to be navigating through this, these days that are to come, knowing what we know, knowing that, yeah, man, this, this is it, you know? So these people that's going to be stockpiling these things, thinking things going to go back to normal, man, <laughs> you know, we, you know, it's pretty much, we're going to be able to use them to our advantage, you know? But at the end, you know, like I said, the, the angels are going to direct you on what to do and how to do it, you know? So we rely, relying on faith, man, you know? So again, the scripture says, um, no man, no man might buy or sell. So if he had the mark, you know, no man, you know? So it says, is adjusting your payment options to meet the needs of a few. And this come up from this here. How soon until what was in cash? I was just doing a search. Uh, this is the article right here to the left here. Why are banks quietly working toward a cashless society? I was trying my best to open that. And it never would let me open it. It just kept um, directing me to um, options to uh, um, buying a subscription to receive their news. You know, but you can see they're using it. Uh, to attract attention here. You see that? See? It won't let me open it. This is a premium article. Subscribe to get unlimited access to exclusive articles. Subscribe now, but it won't let you open it. And it cost. It's not an app that you can download and then you can read the article. I've been trying that for the longest now. Actually, I've been trying it for now. You can say an hour and a half and it wouldn't open. <laughs> but this beginning dispense with the horse and saves the expensive care and anxiety of keeping it. Read the first automo automobile advertising 1898 in early terms for these Motor cars was horseless carriages, which you know, had nothing to do with this right here. So while this was up, I continued. I I just decided to just keep just to scroll on, you know, just to see what it would pop up. The scripture in um. The scripture um in Habakkuk is a Habakkuk. At the end, it shall speak that word speak. No, oh, I did pull it up. I thought I got rid of it. That word speak. That word speak. Strong's H, 6315. Puach. Puach. Okay, the word speak, you see, it, of number two, of behavior and object, etc. Here you go. Serve as evidence for something. Just serve as evidence for something. For 
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. That's that vision that that, that casts the society, that vision of a cast of society, which it's been played out as we speak. It's working, it's coming into play as we speak. Hyper and superinflation, which ultimately was going to make the money be value, value less and less, which then to the point where it's going to be totally worthless. They're going to crash the system. And that's what's coming. They're going to crash the system, the worldwide system, the worldwide economic system. You see, this is a worldwide thing that's going on. There ain't no nation free from this. And even though the ruble in Russia may be doing, may be strong, there's no nation free from this. Because Russia's uh, um, involved with the World Bank. Of one war, I'm not sure which one, but it's involved with a bank, you know. So it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And this is it. This is it. You know. And this is not no moment of quiet before the storm. Things is happening, man. People are starting to, to, to feel the, the hurt, man. There are rolling blackouts that are happening as we speak. Now they're saying... um. Just this morning, I was just watching a video uh, and reading. Uh, oh, Lord. I can't remember the place it was. I'm not sure it was Washington, D.C., that parts of Washington, D.C., there's blackouts. And there was some other place. There was blackouts. These things is happening right now. These things is going down. You know? So let me go back to that. Okay. Let me click on this one. Why are banks quietly working toward a cash of society? Okay, let's open this. Visit. You see? These damn devils, man. Cash of society. Look at all these here. Cloud money. Cloud money. And that's what I need to read on this cloud money. Where this going to go. Um, Here. Let me see if I can visit it. While several courses in the big finance and tech space are go gung ho over the prospect of a complete digital takeover, Brett Scott, in his new book, Cloud Money, Cash, Cards, Crypto, and the War for Our Wallets, present a cont contrarian view. The world over there is a massive drive to go catch this and embrace the digital mode. While several voices in big finance and tech space are gung-ho over the prospect of a complete digital takeover. Ain't nothing you can do about it. This is coming, man. Brett Scott in his new book, Cloud Money, Cash, Cars, Crypto, and the War for our wallets present a contrarian view. I contra a, present a contrarian view. Contrarian meaning opposite. Correct. Contrary means against. Here, a person who opposes or rejects popular opinion, especially in stock exchange dealing, opposing or rejecting popular opinion, going against current practice. We'll see all. We'll see about that, uh, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to have a. Um, a, a big resistance, you know. So it's um, I recognize 
that we are all caught in complex webs, economic, cultural, or political, that can simultaneously liberate and imprison us. This book is designed to rebalance the skewed digital finance story, which speaks only of liberation. Again, man, these, these people have no power. And, you know, who cares if the multitudes of the people get together, man? These, the, the international bankers, the whole dealing with these Edomites that run these international banks is a whole different reality than the people, man. You know, hear the people talking this, talking that, and and you still have these politicians uh, on, on all sides uh, still burying this place, man, and the people are sitting back allowing it. Not doing a damn thing. People are literally just stupid, man. You know, they still trust in the system, you know. So that day's going to come where the people is just going to be, uh, the people are going to just totally disregard the, the, the leaders and the rulers, you know. All hell is going to break loose, you know. So instead of waiting to deal with things now, this, the, the worst is yet to come because the people didn't make no moves, man. The people, the, the most high put a, a uh, put the uh, put the block on on these people, man, from revolting, you know. And we've been having this talk for us as far as a civil war for years now. For years now. <laughs> so Most High is going to make it happen, you know. And this, like I said, he's going to, Most High, he's, he's timing things all for it to all come down the pipe at the same time to the point where it's going to be overwhelming. And then you're going to have the, the spiritual, the spirit world coming against, man, this be people have no idea what's coming. I'm talking about some liberate, <laughs> let's liberate and imprison. The, uh, the book is designed to rebalance and screw digital finance story, which speak only of liberation. Think of, think of it as a darker yin to contrast with a brighter yang, he says. And he goes on to drive home his argument chapter after chapter. Be down for read that book. I'm just pretty much just promoting his book. People, you know, trying to make a couple of dollars before the end come. <laughs> these people don't have no solution for a damn thing, and that's what we know. These people don't have a solution for a goddamn thing. Picture yourself winning big, at winning big at a casino blackjack table. Racking in a pile of chips, then heading to the cashier to convert those to cash and leave. The cashier looks up and says, sorry, we don't redeem those anymore. They let you into your casino, but now are trying to stop you exiting. Would you be angry? Something acknowledges is happening with banks in countries like the UK. They are quietly shutting down ATMs and branches, which are ramps into out of the system according to the data from the British Bank Association and the Office of National Statistics between 2012 and 2020 the number of UK bank branches declined by 28% um, while ATM numbers declined by 24% between 2015 and 2020 perversely banks are using their success in absorbing people into their system as a just frame for closing down future opportunities for people to exit We've seen that we live under a dual monetary system with state cash and digital bank chips, but in the cash societies, but in the cashless society, one of those options disappears, leaving bank chips as the only choice. Cashless society is a euphemism as uninformative as calling whiskey beerless alcohol. But the financial industry like the phrase because it draws attention to something that is absent rather than to something that is rising to power. Imagine how much harder it would be to market the bank chip society. Remember that banks retire our cash from circulation, dematerialize it into revert reserves they own at the central bank and then issue us chips in their data centers. But they are also supposed to run the reverse process. When we request state money, they have to destroy chips and rematerialize reserves and cash that they send out via ATMs and branches. But banks 
and began to present ATMs as a helpful but outdated public service that they are encumbered with running. It is like a casino presenting a redemption of their chips as a charitable service they offer rather than legal requirement. So a lot of these banks are going to totally eventually start eliminate the ATMs. And you see that's happening overseas a lot in the EU. Banks now present themselves like this while slowly closing down the cash infrastructure. This makes the chief competitor to their chips cash harder to access, which in turn makes cash seems less convenient, which in turn pushes more people toward their systems. And a whole lot of in this, these days that are coming is a whole lot of people want to fall for it, man. Because they were caught unaware. You know, they were caught out there not, you know, being, they were caught out there being uninformed. So a lot of Jake's about to die for being uninformed. Uninformed of the truth of, of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Which in turn pushes more people towards their systems and influx that is then used to justify closing down further cash infrastructures. Some good reading here. Some pretty good reading here. Go back here. <clears throat> so this, as far as the scriptures is concerned, this is those um uh this is an example of those um those policies that this devil is bringing into the world. Uh, no, the book of Daniel. Um, craft. And through his policy also he shall cause craft. And craft is, again, you know, the work of his hands, you know, this devil's hands, which is this cast of society, the MOTB, which he envisioned, you know, through his craft and through his policy. Also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Craft. I did it before. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to craft and continue to go because I can't always remember the name of the, the meaning. Strong's H, 4820. Mirma. Mirma. So if you have the access to these, to the internet, and, and I don't always have to lean on that powerful memory, which I don't have. I remember a lot more than I used to before the truth, though. Just something about learning, something about being in the truth, man. It helps you enhance your memory. <laughs> okay, so here's your craft is, you know, deceit and treachery. Treachery, man. Treachery. Betrayal of trust, deceptive action or nature. Treachery, deceptive action or nature. I mean, you got people trusting in this devil. You know, what's the scripture say in Isaiah that uh, uh, Egypt shall be your shame? Because you let this damn devil who is always proven to be the devil um, deceive your simple-minded ass into thinking he's going to give you peace and safety. Thessalonians, First Thessalonians five and three. First Thessalonians five one, but other times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, because we're watching. You know, we're watching. Stand diligent in this, in this truth. In this labor of love, you know, 
For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You know, but we're watching for him. You know, we're watching for him. You know. Oh. Um, so it says. For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destructions cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But you brethren are not in darkness that the day should not should overtake you as a thief right so we're warning you about these days that are coming these cashless days as cash of a cashless society you know and then those that receiving that is like i said gonna have their part in that in that in in that in that burning man um revelation to The fourteenth and I'm just like this wrong chapter. Okay, that. that the day of the Lord shall strike as a thief in the night. Revelation 49, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his karakma in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right. So a whole lot of men and women about to sign up for it. <laughs> yeah. This is a warning. Yeah, this is just another warning from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In which nothing but warnings are going out from the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true apostles that the Bible speak of. And this is yet another one. This is just another voice of the of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, warning the people. So, to next time, Lord willing, Shalom.